Hello everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Rinny. And today we are playing Crimes and Punishments Sherlock Holmes. That is plural crimes and plural punishments. Perhaps that is multiple punishments per crime. Yeah. Oh look, the eyes are is a knife. It's a knife, so I know That's how you know it's edgy. What <laughs> I know in Sherlock Holmes it's blood red. Uh I suspect the knife was the murder. Is that Sherlock? You know what? That is... I Why did I expect, like, Benedict Cumberbums instead? <laughs> Benedict Cumberbuns. Bernaflarg Cumbersnatch. Yes. Bernaflarg Cumbersnatch. Bernard Cum... Uh, you know what? Because... Uh, that joke has run its course. Correct. <laughs> um, I think that's a pretty good balance between our old depiction of Sherlock and the kind of younger, more modern one. I don't really know much about this game, so we're gonna see if this has any of the action-y stuff. I don't know anything about this game, so everything about it is gonna surprise me. Maybe this was a shitty choice for a game to do a Let's Play of, but yeah. I think we're gonna have fun. I mean, this, is, this graphics are pretty good. The well, if Resident Evil were doing a half-blind, now we're just doing a completely blind. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you, uh, dear viewer, are gonna get to solve the mystery with us. Uh, all right, we have spent an abnormal amount of time on the start menu. New game. You want to check out options? Oh, look at that! To I, edit your I, maybe I should have. Okay, in memory of the Ukrainian Heavenly Hundred. That's the Assassin's Creed font. Oh, this is pretty hype. Is this gonna have an actor say is Sherlock? This like a Resident yeah, it does Evil. the fucking Sherlock thing. <laughs> this is like a Resident Evil alternate universe, because that's the exact opening of Resident Evil, like, 5, I think. And, like, Metroid Prime? Mrs. Hudson? Who did... I would put Mrs. Hudson before Mycroft. Wiggins, where's... Was Lestrade they in there? I did put Mrs. Hudson before Minecraft. Did you say Minecraft? Mycroft. You said that you would, and guess what? They already did. Did you mean you wouldn't put Mrs. Hudson before Minecraft? I don't know. All right, so the fate of Black Peter. I believe there are multiple cases in this. Some evidence requires additional invest. Is this just going to be like L.A. Noir? I hope so. L.A. Noir was good. L.A. Noir was pretty good, so long as we get over the doubt thing. All right, X to continue. Let's continue. Is it going to be based off actual cases, or does the creator uh, make real Cases. I think they made these. Ah. Uh. <gasps> that paper just stay in the air. Forget gravity. Oh, get it. Holmes. Oh, am I? Oh, you play with Watson? I I hope I'm not playing with Watson. Watson's a. Who's the loser of the two? Love Watson. You take that back. Mm. Holmes, will you stop that? Uh, all right. Okay, this is an interesting tutorial. All right, take cover. Why? I sh why didn't I point at the table to do that? You are utterly mad. Are utterly mad. Why would I take cover with the dude with the gun? Is there like a punch out button? Like now that I want to punch, I actually I want to play as Sherlock. I want to play as Watson. This is a good intro. But you expect to play Stop Sherlock. Home. This would actually be interesting. Is that you, Watson? Who would it be? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. It's like older Jude Nonsense. Law. I was aiming for the vases. Yeah. Blindfolded. Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Come on, Watson. Don't be a spoil sport. Oh. Oh, this is neat. Oh, it's the stuff he's thinking of. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? Oh, that was kind of cool, actually. Did you see me? Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. No. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? 
Am I the only sane one here? No, I you're just the spoil the sport. Is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey, born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 with a small fortune. Are you guys writing that down? He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years, and where he was found dead yesterday. <gasps> Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The many men struck again. Like what have they done this time? Yeah, like Robin. They robbed a powder reserve. Oh. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. I wonder how these will I connect have later Mrs. on. I Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. Yeah, you freaking stay I here, you loser. Alone, then. Why the aggressiveness towards Watson? Because what he's, has he ever done to he's so boring. Like, we're doing the cool stuff. And Watson's like, oh, well, why are you shooting at stuff? Why are you shooting at me? Why does everybody, everybody want to do the fun thing? Okay, but you recognize that in real life you would be Watson, right? Uh, oh, no, I don't want to. Would I be Watson? I you would be Watson. I know. You are not Sherlock. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, oh, so should I just, can I teleport there? Oh, if I move the thumbstick, I kind of move the book around. The cutscenes were done in, like, that weird, like, Bioware kind of way. Like, the slightly awkward animation as they talk. And I, cut, camera cuts to them. Mentioning that makes me wonder if I'm going to have dialogue choices, or if we're just going to let Sherlock be a smartass. If I'm given dialogue choices, I'm just going to choose the smartass ones. And then I'm going to fail the case. I wonder if it's possible to fail these, because, like L.A. Noir. If this is like Alan Noir, I mean, then it will be impposible to fail them, which I am ambivalent about. I'm not. Well, it's, it's it gives sort of you like really to cool ways them. to solve things. Yeah, actually, you know, it is sort of impossible to fail them. Well, I mean, you can get guess the wrong person, which I suppose is the definition of failure when it comes to a murder case. You must get the murder. Select a suit to wear using your personal wardrobe. Ha <laughs> ha. Baker Street. Let's see what I got here. Evidence. Profile the victim. Ah, oh, dude, he looks friggin' freaky. Look at that beard. Documents. Dialogues. Oh, I can go look back over the dialogue. Alright, that's kind of neat. Uh, Alright, so if I press square, that'll take me there. Let's use the telescope. Am I just gonna... Really, uh... Sherlock? Really, Sherlock? Really? What is this rated? Children uh, can't see this. Probably mature. You go along to people. Peter Kerr's house. Mrs. Hudson and I will take care of the mess you've made here. Damn straight you will. Why oh are you? Oh my god, stop you... picking on Watson, okay? You're just you're just that kind of angry because you know that's you. I know I know what I am. My analysis I'm... table. It is useful for my work. It is useful for really his weird. work. Yeah, I don't know what I think of Sherlock's boy. Oh, this letters. This is where I keep my post. The room, I'm not going to get too much information out of here, am I? This is where I yes, keep my yeah, post. Yes, yeah, I keep my post. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. If needed. Hello, Mrs. Hudson. Oh, what a mess. What a terrible mess. Yeah. Also, since when have you not liked Watson? It's not that I don't like Watson. It's that I don't like when characters are spoil sports, you know? Uh, what's here? Research. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. I don't like when you have a character who does awesome stuff, and then there's the one character who's like, no, don't do awesome stuff, whatever. Makeup table. This could be amazing. Oh! Oh! Oh, hello! <laughs> oh my gosh. Where's my Benedict Cumberbund's hair? Wow, this is actually... Kinda uh, cool letting you do this. I didn't. Oh, stupid hat. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna do that hat. Oh, Watson's boring cap. All right, so stupid hats. Okay. Um, there's this one. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna go. Why? All right, I'm not gonna go with that one. I'm gonna go with zero. Glasses. Do we? Give him a monocle. 
I, a monocle is not one of the options. Facial hair. Oh, Fu Manchu. Oh. All right. I'm boring, so I'm like, wow. Okay. This is... Fun fact, Sherlock did drugs. I think it was opium, like, a lot in the books. So, that's his opium beard. Oh, maybe or maybe that is. That's his douchey barista beard. I don't know why I'm looking through... Because I, like, I know I'm not going to do any of these. Because I just want him to look like he does on the cover of the game. <gasps> and this is what he would look like if he was played by Christian Bale. Oh, I almost want to do it. We're going to go with the normal so I can see his gorgeous face. Wardrobe. A morning gown. Sailor outfit. Unbuttoned suit. That sounds better. That sounds cool. Casual suit. Black suit. Brown suit. Green suit. Gray suit. What about something interesting? Bandit outfit. That looks locked. Farmer. Morning gown. Unbutton. Wow. Do the unbuttoned one. It's a, it's enough to show that you kind of care, but you're too aloof to really care. Uh, current, the you've currently equipped are not available at the moment. Will be reset to the default. Please solve this crime case to unlock more. Okay. Like what? 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 What didn't fit? I'm not allowed to use the unbuttoned suit, but it looked pretty cool. It is restricting my freedom. Um. Okay. 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 Uh, alright, so we're gonna go... Maybe I should... I go raid Watson's room? Will I get, like... Will I get anything? Or is Watson gonna be like, Hey, don't do that. Go look in my room. Typewriter. Bowl. Alright, well, to Sherlock's credit, he does not rifle through here that much. He would have a painting of just a random rifle procedure. Um, this is weird, but I kind of like this. Is that weird? To like it, to like video games? Am Not I? to like video games, but right now I'm just kind of mad on this. Maybe you should be more open-minded. Hey, I bet this would have been cooler if he was wearing that unbuttoned suit I wanted him to wear. Is this just like a cinematic during? Oh, this is like a loading screen. Yeah, this is just a cover of loading screens. All right, we're... Well, it's not really covering anything up considering there was a loading like at the bottom. Why wouldn't I want to continue? What is... Okay. We're probably going to cut that out because those will get irritating after a while. And we don't want you to have to experience anything irritating. We love you. Then why are you running the channel? Oh! The kids refer to that as throwing shade. <laughs> Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. Over here. What? He's over his ear. Join Lestrade also, at Woodman's. Is... Oh! Objective complete! What up? Oh, man. The game is afoot. Garden. It seems that the garden was well maintained. Ooh. Oh, th that's evidence? <gasps> oh, so now they can come up in dialogue. Oh, this actually is kind of cool. And that's how I speed up. All right. All right, all right, policeman. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. So why does Lestrade have, like, a Cogni accent? Shouldn't he have a more, like, sophisticated accent? Uh, you know, but I think, like, the idea is that the police were kind of low class. Sort of. Like, you know, with all due respect to any policeman who may be watching this. Policemen don't play video games. You know what? I'll bet there is a policeman watching this, and he plays, like, more video games than you and I do, and he's just like, screw them for not liking the video games I play. Did we set up a... Alright. This frame rate is kind of shitty, though. <laughs> but whatever. I'll forgive it. Whatever. The the game is a fort. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Oh. <laughs> Should I open this with, is there a gardener? Yeah. The garden is very large and well-maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Well, that is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Mm. Madam, 
Can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the she murder? She did it. She did it. You At think she did it? In the morning, she did it. I heard a terrible scream. I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Oh, yeah. Because he was a drunk and she didn't like him. Ah. ah. It appears the game was a poor. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Oh, she so killed him. Because he's a drunk. And he was like, and he was like a jerk. Why? Why is he drinking so much though? He was like a sailor who killed whales. Is that all the guilt from killing the whales, or maybe it was like having to take care of the garden? And he was just like, like, goddamn these pumpkins! I did not want to have to keep the garden well maintained. When was the body found? Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock, I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door, and oh dear! Oh dear! Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? No, because he's a drunk. Oh, no, I don't think so. Oh no! I mean, he didn't really have many friends. We lived quite an isolated life here. After his retirement. The facial animations aren't bad in this. Mm. Alright, what's square do? Oh! Oh! Those are things I can inspect about her. Uh, be respectful. Oh, cameo. Interesting. I swear to God, if there comes a point in which I need to investigate the lady's chest or something. Oh, gloves! Gardening gloves. Okay, I kind of like this birdhouse it's my deduction tells me they're farmers the game is afoot crested tip uh oh hello catholic character portrait complete oh that's neat i actually kind of like this i actually kind of like this things will become easier you have indeed suffered a great loss mrs carey nevertheless i believe it will be less of a burden for you soon when i throw you in jail Life with Peter was never easy, but he was still my husband. Whenever she talked he about him, she looks away. wasn't he, mm. when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela okay. when you were young. Cool. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. All right, this that is kind of cool. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. It's kind of cool. Thank you, madam. All right, uh, so if I do that, character portrait. I wonder if there's some kind of punishment for messing things up. All right, if I press square, this takes People me. People just yell at you like we do in Eleanor. Be like, what are you talking about? You know, but in the end, it was kind of, oh, the pilgrimage. And I probably wouldn't have gotten that evidence if I hadn't gotten it right. This is kind of neat. Yeah, but see, in Eleanor, you tended to be the one who flipped out. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. I think my like my favorite moment was when I was doing it, and then Cole's Cole's was it? Cole, yes. Yeah, Cole, Cole Phelps. Cole, he started like freaking out and going like, "You murdered them, didn't you?" And then you dragged their body outside, and then I, I was like, not the guy whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, that was like I think. And then like, and then the 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 witness or the whatever was responded with like, "What?" And then he and then Cole was like, "Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean that." Footprints. It's just like he goes off the handle so easily. Yeah, he really freaked out. These footprints appear to be quite large. Mm. Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Evidence required. Evidence required. Okay, so if I have other evidence, then I can sort of like connect the dots. This is doing a good job at like, it's just like making me think like Sherlock. But I'm thinking that right now, and I'm concerned that there will come a time in which I'm kind of like. 
God damn, you're trying to make me think like Sherlock. I cannot. I'm afraid I'm just going to hold the R1 button all the time, though, to sort stuff Kinda like out. Kind of like Eagle Vision, like why would you not use it? Exactly. Except in Unity, where they like restrict how you do it. Um, okay, let's see. Garden. I've examined the garden. I'm oh, so going to miss go stuff. Back to the footprint. No, but I require other evidence. Maybe it is what you require. No, I don't think that's it. Click on the thing. Is there anything else here? No, oh, it's just a footprint. These footprints oh. appear to be quite large. Right, I gotta like connect the dots with another piece of evidence. Go find his shoes. Exactly. All right, Inspector. Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch anything. Took care not to touch anything. All right, I'm just gonna get up in your face about that. Policeman, anything? Mr. Holmes? Yeah, the policemen are never gonna tell me something. There we go. The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. That might be important. Guys, oh, remember that. Thinking. And girls, hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. What, what is, is it, Lestrade? It seems mm -hmm. to me okay. that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. Door. Examine. Scratches. These scratches are fresh. Ooh. So it's not like drunk scratches trying to open it then. Yeah, it's like you're someone right. Was... Someone tried to force open. It's the like door. someone was trying to force open the I door. Swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Now a mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. Hmm. Oh. What a terrible way to die. Oh. Sorry. Well, hello. Um, that was not how I was expecting him to appear. No. Neither was I. Pierced chest. The yeah, that's a good fully place to start. penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. I wonder if, if this turns out to be like an accident, that'll just be horrible. This man like is like a drunken accident. Yeah, yeah exactly. Still looks quite strong. I was about to be like, but it's only his fifties. But I guess like back then, it's like pretty old. Yeah. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. Because he's dressed? Wouldn't he be dressed normally? Yeah, I don't know where Sherlock's getting that from. I don't usually, like, strip when I know company's coming. Actually, usually is not the right word. I never strip when I know company's coming. See, knife? Oh, and let's investigate this wooden handle. This wooden handle is plain and solid. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. Or it's from Peter inside Carey of the tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. Aha. Notebook. J.H.N. are probably the initials of the owner of Judith. this notebook. Judith. Whatever, whatever. Judith Hamilton... Com um, Judith Hamilton Newton. Newton. Nugent. Nugent. Oh, is that? That uh, is so not the name. I appear to be lost. Open it. Open it. How do I open J it? A Just click on like the blood or something. I can't, Sherlock. Yo, why wouldn't you open the notebook? I'm afraid that if I hit like exit, Sherlock's gonna be like, well, like, I guess I'm done with that. Well, check. The, you can't check the blood stain. No. 
Well, you've had like the cursor thingy with the circle thingy. So ro rotate it forward again. Forward. You're going backward. <laughs> oh my god. You mean here? Yes. Okay. All right, maybe if I hit exit, then we... Oh, uh, damn uh, it! See, I told Dingus, you examine damn that! Damn it! Hmm. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. Ah. I don't think I've seen scrolling subtitles in forever. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right, well, this doesn't make any sense. I guess it does. Those are all like numbers and initials. There are These abbreviations mean something, but what? I'm surprised he didn't say what. Alright, so I guess nothing else to examine. Peter Carey oh, yeah, was the harpoon. To the wall by a whaling harpoon. The whales did it. Oh! Oh, the whales did it. What does triangle button do? Find a pair of related clues and they will form a deduction. No gardener. Notebook pinned to the wall. Break in attempts. Um. Okay, I wonder if I can. I don't can... think the, any of these are going to help right now. I haven't made any deductions yet. Okay. This is it. Yeah, all right. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. The Sea Unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. That's such a generic name. Get more creative, dude. My boat is called the Fish. Rum. A sailor's drink. Probably he wasn't a very imaginative guy. Yeah. Yeah. In a dirty glass. Why would you avoid it? PC. PC. I wonder who that belonged to. Burned. Politically correct. A sailor's work. Obviously. My thoughts exactly, Sherlock. But now we're in agreement. Hello. Open flap. Um. Rotate it so you can see inside. So I can see. Oh. Yeah, I see. There's tobacco and mm. the tobacco pouch. This aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. It's um, tobacco. Right? Like, like, that's what it is, Sherlock. You don't need to... This is like a friggin' Danganronpa puzzle. Oh, I'm concerned this may get annoying. I think I'm moving. Oh. Hi. Okay, so this... I think I get it. Alright, so this background... That's a ship. That line's up there. That's a ship. I can only move it like this. Can I do... Alright, that looks about right. That looks about right. Oh! Again, this is something I'm just getting, but I think is kind of cool. Yes. This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. I told you it was tobacco. What? You knew it was tobacco when you opened up the tobacco pouch. All right, so whoever politically correct is, he's a Someone sailor. Someone drank from this glass recently. See, it's not like... It seems that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. So it, why are there two glasses? Because he was drinking with someone, and the someone was a sailor. Wouldn't you, harpoon the rack? weapon was probably taken from this rack. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> have you been waiting to say that like this entire time? Indeed, I have. Shoes. His boots. Peter carries boots. They look to be a size eight. Let's see. How those to get, will this work? Will this deduction? Are these a deduction or? Okay, no. But I'm gonna go compare those to the footprints outside, and it's right gonna now be. Right now, you're gonna finish looking at this. Not right. I'm gonna finish looking at this. Old first. navigation instruments. Nothing interesting. Well, it's interesting to me. So screw you. 
How do you navigate? Let's ask Peter. Oh, wait, we can't. Oh, his name's Peter Carey, so that was his tobacco. But who is the other person? You, you did not think it was his tobacco. Person... No, I was looking for someone named politically correct. This has derailed my entire investigation. The tooth of a sperm whale. Probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. Um, shelf. Suspiciously empty space. Outline in the dust. Ooh. That's going to be the name of my band's this first album. This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book, a box, or oh, a small chest. So it was the. It was what we just had. It was the chest over there. It was this chest. No, that's too big. That's. Yeah, alright. So I gotta find a chest that would fit that. Alright, but first. Oh, no, 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 no. But first, the thing. I didn't even complete that sentence and I cut myself off. Map. Interessant, as the French would say. Dundee. Dundee. Crocodile Dundee. Yay. This map is askew. That is I'm not impressed. like how it's a big whaling map. Germany is. It's a whaling map. Germany is no. different for whales. Wait, look, look back. Why? Well, why are we... Why isn't that... No, not in there. Get out of there. Okay. Why isn't that, like, jaw interesting to Sherlock? Oh. Uh... Ship's hmm. log. The ship's log no of idea. the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. See, what I like is that I collect all this evidence, but I actually have little things I'm doing, like little kinds of like mini games and stuff like that along the way. Like here, I'm going to combine this with the boots. Okay. Oh, I have to... Ha! These boots don't match the footprints. Ah. So those are someone else's footprints. Can I deduction? Pin to the wall. I need to break in according to the scratches around the lock. She might be hiding something. Notebook, JHN, pin to the wall. I don't think these connect, but the game... What happens if I click L3 and R3? Oh, well, I figured that. Maybe notebook. Notebook and breaking attempt? Yeah, because there was the notebook of someone. An ambush must be made tonight to see if a breaking attempt will be repeated. <sighs> Yeah, maybe they're trying to break in to take their journal back. Someone was here yesterday. Yeah. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Organize an ambush. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Okay. Lestrade. Let's organize an ambush. Well, Mr. Holmes, what do you think? Now, I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Why is Sherlock's ear orange? Oof. You've lost me. Is that? It is very probable that, that whoever shot. came here hoped to oh. find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why, return tonight, when they will be better prepared. Aha! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. Here we go. Time to crack the case. Um, how do I do this? We need to find a good place for an ambush. Perhaps behind Carey's cabin, near the window. Move up. Well, this this window is locked from the inside. I do not see any attempt at a break-in. All right. Oh, you can't go through that. Hello, Mr. Window. This looks like the perfect hiding place. The fate of Black Peter is a cool name for a case. It, it, it is. It's, it's dramatic. It's good. It's good. Good pick. Good pick. 
Why is why is he called Black Peter though? Uh, it's he has a black beard. So it's a reference to Blackbeard. You think it's a reference to Blackbeard? I mean, Blackbeard wasn't like a whaler or something, right? He was a pirate, bro. Yeah. Well, I mean, like pirates could double his things. Maybe he had a front. Where was he getting the money from? He by stealing oh. it. Yes. All right, this is it, everybody. I wrapped up the case. Let's capture the murderer. And you think you wrapped up the case already? Come on, the dude who comes and breaks in is obviously the murderer. Case closed. That's not how it works in Sherlock bam, Holmes cases. Shh. Occam's razor. Did you hear that? Oh. Who's this kid? This the murderer. Man. I'm going to collar him. I'm going to collar him. I'll be right behind you. Will you? Why is it in first person? Because I'm inside the mind of Sherlock right Holmes. Run. Dun 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 It's the music from the film Sherlock Holmes. No, it's not. It's not nothing like it. All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain K. How could you not be? I assure you I'm innocent. Innocence? And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... J.H.N. Do you deny that you came here yesterday? I like his no, but, entire name. But I, yes, Thank it, goodness. It's just that I couldn't... It seems like a British thing I'm to do, like this. in this era. Off we go to According the yard. to fiction, Tomorrow, probably. I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. Case closed. What? But you can't. I'm not... It's a terrible mistake. Enough. You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But... Nah, he's not not the murder, events, is he? It seems no. evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow... I would like to question him tomorrow morning. Oh, I thought that'd be the end. <sighs> no, because I mean, how many cases do we think are in this? Ah, loading screen. All right, we'll cut this. And we're back. Examine Nelligan's belongings. Like, I can just do that? Hello, Mr. Policeman. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Every policeman has the exact same thing to say. But you, you have a conversation. You have something different to say. You are an individual. Mr. Holmes, can I help you? Good morning, Constable. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodman's Lee last night. Ah, oh, the young man. He's waiting in the interrogation room. You can go straight through. His belongings are held in the evidence room. Thank you. I think I'm going to go to the evidence room first. Because, you know... And I did this in L.A. Noir too. It tends to be like, like when you look at the evidence first, you have more things to ask them about. You're just gonna say Mr. Holmes, aren't Mr. you? Holmes. Frickin' goddamn it! I feel like the police here are way Stop more them. helpful than the police in any other versions of Sherlock Holmes I've ever seen. Right? It's always like, well, you know, Sherlock is not actually like that cool a dude. He isn't. It's all over here, isn't it? His belongings. These a are knife. The suspect's belongings. A knife. A wedding ring. A wedding ring. The Notebook. Oh, starring Ryan Gosling? It's the Gosling? One Ring. It's the One Ring! <laughs> Throw it in Mount Doom! The description's on the wrong place, though. From R. Dawson to my friend and partner, 1883. Oh, is it a gay wedding? I don't think this is a wedding ring. It looks like a wedding band. F to my friend and part- And well, partner! Okay. And partner. 1883. All right, should I have been hitting? That's what I thought. I have to hit every element of this. From R. Dawson. To my friend, Dawson. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. Perhaps it does. Yeah, and I just took it. Archive, archive, archive. Is this the archive? Or is this the archive? 
So that documents dialogues. I'm gonna say unidentified footprints profile. All right, where is Dawson? 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 Wait, no. Go back to the initials. Uh. Is R D there? That's a good one. R R A N O. That's a friggin' long name. P O T. Pot. Ah. Four twenty. Unidentified footprints. Perhaps they. She's a very religious Christian Catholic woman. St. James Way. <sighs> R. Dawson carries shelves larger than a book. Okay, I'm looking in the wrong place. Documents. None. I hope I didn't miss something. Echoes? What's that? Alright, I'll, I'll sort this out later. A handkerchief with the initials J H N. Jahoon! Right? Nailed it! A new the notebook that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. Curiouser and curiouser. Abbreviations, evidence required. Oh, okay. Pocket knife examine. Pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. See, it said, like, my examination was complete, but it said that last time, and then I had the deduction that actually brought me here. So, I'm gonna keep an eye out. I may have to come back to that, like, way later when I've sorted out some stuff. Uh, door. To the morgue? Nah. Ew. Locked. Locked! With an exclamation mark. It's the first exclamation mark in the whole thing. Uh, when he said, like, the force was immense, there was an exclamation mark. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. The game is afoot. It's going to be like the title of, like, every single one of these videos. I am not going to lie to you. That has been a consideration. Ah, John Nelligan. Let's see what you have to say. I want to press Where X. Where is he? And talk to him. Where is he? I want to press X. And talk to him from this perspective. But I bet he's going to sit down in the chair. And loading screen. Why do we have two circles? Oh, one of them's probably saving. Oh! oh! Alright, let's investigate you. There's a lot to look at here. Let's look at your hat. Let's look at your hat. Shabby, Shabby cap. cap. See, I guess we know what Sherlock thinks of his fashion sense. Yeah, I know, right? You got some crappy fashion sense there, Buster Brown. Patch? Oh, did I miss something? Expensive fabric. Oh, that's interessant. Again, French. But then why is there a patch? Oh. Short sleeves. Short sleeves. Yes, yeah, so this isn't his coat. This isn't his coat. That's that's my deduction. Callus. Scars. Scars. You're still missing one. Oh. Go back up to... What is this? Thin neck. Thin neck. That is actually kind of interesting. Alright, notebook. Does Definitely going to start with this. belong to you? Yes. But where did you find it? I did not know... I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. What do these abbreviations mean? The hotel. Mean? Oh, no. I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. I will find out. The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carrie try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. Yeah, all right. I don't think he, he did it, because this would be way too quick. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. Oh, BS. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. So, Mr. Nelligan, 
Who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. Wait, what? Um, that's odd. Oh, is it... I'm gonna say father's jacket? No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but... but... But how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is okay. made of an expensive fabric. At least I know there's no punishment when I don't get a problem. Only a man of exceptional time. wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, nice. the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Was his dad Most shorter than him? Because his sleeves are shorter. With your father That's a fair garment, point, taking actually. with him the family's wealth, as a little boy, you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. Well, I'm amazing. Well, I will see you soon, young man. Wait, but you didn't really Please, get Please, let me out go. Of I'm innocent. But yeah, I feel what like am I, I didn't doing here? Sure. I've done nothing wrong. Okay, I did that, but like, what else do I have? Seems not to be a usual thief. What is his role in all that? I think it's deduction time. No gardener. So that's Breaking one. attempts and negligence. Ne ne Nelligan's no. notebook? Yeah. Oh, nicely done. Okay, what are you... Retrieving the notebook. The break-in attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in a pool of the victim's blood. This proves the guilt of the person who made these attempts. I feel like... What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong! Okay, that was a good deduction, but that doesn't seem... And the notebook is gone. Okay, so we've in, we've investigated everything we can. Peter carried his arm with his knife, but he did not have time to use it. Murder acted quickly and in instinctively. Maybe all right. So breaking attempts. Okay. Oh, 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 I didn't read it. I didn't read I it. I need to stage a reconstruction. I'm sure that Watson would be happy to oblige. You sure? Because Watson's a bit of a stick in the mud. Okay. Prepare for a harpoon throwing experiment. All right, okay, so what is... We need to find out whether an unskilled and untrained man, sounds like Watson to me, could use a harpoon well enough to kill by fully piercing a body. I mean, if you fully pierce a body with anything. I know, then it's fully pierced. I want to go in there and talk to that dude. What's his story? What's your story? Huh? Is there anything... Like, is the, the... The body should be down here, right? Or am I just, like, going where I should not go? Are there audio tapes? Everything has audio tapes nowadays. You know, I applaud them for at least putting in the detail. Oh, I thought I was trapped for a second. Locked. Oh, well, Locked. I don't get to talk to Lestrade? Mr. Mr. Holmes. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Any thoughts? Any thoughts? This is no Bioware game. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Now, let's go back home. What makes you think Watson will be happy with that? Yeah, I do fear that I kind of I kind of dominate the, uh, the 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 Let's Play commentary because I just I just have that kind of personality. No, oh. no, because it's your channel. <sighs> Why? Oh, look, a puppy! Watson, I'm gonna be straight with you. I'd much rather no, talk, talk to, to Toby. Dog. I'm gonna talk to Toby. Brave Let's examine Toby. Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. And standing next to him is Watson, the biggest loser in the British Empire. I'm gonna beat you if you keep insulting Watson. You know, maybe Watson should earn his wailing, game. Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? What did I tell you? No. But we do need to clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible. 
But if that is the case, then it alters many things. I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man, morphologically, I mean? A monkey. Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before, on the Ripper case, I believe. But dude, I want to do, do that case. Do you want to case? split some more pig's throats? Yeah. No. Well, thank goodness for that. Huh? I wish to impale one with a harpoon. Ha <laughs> ha. Wonderful. Watson, let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. Okay, they're already dead. Thank and God. And the harpoon? No. One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. Time to go kill some I pig. need to take a harpoon no. with me. I will take no part of this. Find a harpoon for an experiment completed. Sorry, we just decided to skip that. Nothing interesting happened. Except for the second murder that occurred in the room <laughs> with the husband's wife, and no, nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> um, okay, opening the door probably just takes me right back out. Cheek bacon. Do I get to eat the bacon afterwards? No, it's gross. Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What do you intend to do? To indulge myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little experiment? Stand aside, Watson. This might be dangerous. I am not well practiced in this exercise. Yet. Am I allowed to throw you a harpoon? Aim for the mark in order to perform the most reliable test. Should I aim for the mark, or should I aim? Uh, you, you can't even go that far. Ha, huh? that's what you get. <laughs> what the? Here we go. Whoa. 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 Holmes, you should try to aim better and throw as hard as you can. You should shut up. To stop berating Watson. Oh, you know what? This time he's berating me. Good. You can't throw a harpoon. Okay, and wow, time limit. The harpoon has struck the body, but with insufficient strength to pierce it straight through. I am going to be stuck on this for a little while, aren't I? Oh, okay. Holmes, you should try to aim better and throw as hard as you can. Oh God, this is going to be irritating. The harpoon has struck the body, but with <sighs> insufficient strength to pierce it. Okay, I'm just gonna skip. I'm just gonna skip till I get this. Or I hey, could get it. it on the next try. <laughs> this is the best possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or oh. diabolical luck. That was if it point. was luck, then it was a chance in a thousand that night. Well, yes. Let us leave now. What's happening all right. But before we go, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily mangled. Very well, but please hurry. Of course. <laughs> Watson getting stuck with the tab. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Um, on this rather bloody note. I think we're going to sign off for now. We are... Yep, we're just about out of time. This has been pretty cool. Uh, this has been pretty exciting. I look forward to seeing where this goes, and I and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, leave a like, and maybe even subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, we will see you next time. For now, I'm Zach. I'm Rini. And you're awesome. Uh, oh! oh. Yep. That's exactly what I'm thinking right now. Oh! All right, now I'm feeling emboldened. Power. Bring it. Bring it.